Your love for me is too much, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh, hey, thank you for loving me, too much, oh, come on, BBA, hey, thank you for loving me, too much, oh, your love for me is too much. Promises are yes and amen. You're not a man, you never lie. We just sing one more time. Stand on the promises of God this morning. Just sing. And all your promises are yes and amen and amen. You're not, you're not a man, you never lie. One more time, you sing it confidently. Come on. And all your promises are yeah. And amen. You're not a man. You're not a man. You never lie. Oh. Too much. Oh. Too much. Oh. Hey. Jam those hands to Jesus this morning. Come on, VP, you can do better than that this morning. Has your God been good? Has he been faithful? Come on, turn to your neighbor this morning and say, I serve an awesome God. Come on, say it confidently. I serve a mighty God. I serve a God who is able to do. Sing. I'm serving the God of miracle. I know. Yes, I know. I'm serving the God of miracle. I know. Yes, I know. Break it down. This one, sing to yourself. Say, I'm serving the God of miracle. I know. Serving the God of miracles. 
Ghost. I know, yes, I know. I'm serving a God of miracles. I know, yes, I know. Come on, I'm serving a God. Serving a God. Yes, I know. I am serving a God. This morning, he says, enter into his court with praise. Hey, serving a God, serving a God. Today, oh, I will lift up my voice and praise. Today, oh, I will lift up my hands and praise. For I know, come on, come on. You are always there for me. Almighty God, Almighty God, my all in all, all in no, no matter what I say, when success comes my way, I will praise the Lord. Shall we do today? Forevermore, you've been faithful, Lord, from 
will lift up Jesus
beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares. A beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name. Come on, VPA. Come on. The name of a name higher than every other name. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to it. Oh, beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name, a beautiful name it is, a beautiful name it is, name of a beautiful name it is, nothing compares, a beautiful name so much o uh, Usher. Thank you. I mean for choir. Thank you for your beautiful rendition. Church, lift up your hands this morning. This morning, as you have come into the presence of the Lord, and as you show him gratitude this morning, your attitude will never come down. I say your attitude will never come down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your hands, please. Because you have showed God appreciation, you will no longer know depreciation. I say you will no longer know depreciation. In the mighty name of Jesus, from henceforth and for the remaining months of this year, you are flying higher. I say you are flying higher. Whether your enemies like it or not, you are flying higher. In the name of Jesus Christ, from henceforth, the anointing of the ego is coming upon you. I say you will struggle no more because the anointing of the ego is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Heaven will, will answer to you. I say before you call, heaven will answer to you. In the name of Jesus, heaven will release fresh blessings upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the God of VPA will open an unusual door for you. And you must testify in the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing that provokes unusual testimony shall rest upon you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, the power of the Most High God shall break every yoke in your life and deliver to you breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, please. Lift up your hands. Things will, remain the, things will no longer remain the same for you. Where you have struggled before, I said they shall not remain the same. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, the power of God shall break every yoke in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall move beyond your present level. I say you shall progress beyond your present level. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall possess your possessions. I say you shall possess your possessions. In the name of Jesus, every captivity in your life comes to an end this morning. I say every captivity in your life, they come to an end this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, that which you are believing God for, this month and for the rest of this year, the Lord shall answer you. I said, the Lord shall answer you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. I see you coming out of that situation. I said, you are coming out of that challenge. Whether the devil likes it or not, you are coming out of that challenge. In the name of Jesus. You have stayed too long on that level. You are not changing levels this month. I said, you are changing levels this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every devil on your new level. I say every devil on your new level. They are subdued henceforth. They are disgraced henceforth. They are destroyed henceforth. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree over your life this morning. Where you have been lacking help. To fulfill the vision of your destiny. Help is not coming to you. I say help is coming to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your help now. I said receive help from above. Receive help from above. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Your time has come. We are going to take one song. Glory. We are going to give God glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and let's worship him this morning. Give him all the glory because your prayers are answered. Glory to the
Jesus, shout Jesus, shout Jesus, your time has come in Jesus' name, hallelujah, if you let's put our hands together and worship, I mean, uh, appreciate our man of God, our daddy, our prophet, Pastor Alex Amokudu, hallelujah, thank you sir. And of course, we recognize our first lady, the elegant angel Omokudo. Put your hands together. We be a shout, Jesus! I feel like continuing the atmosphere of worship. Put your hands together. Let's appreciate our, our choir. Thank you, Jesus. may be seated in God's awesome presence. This is VPA Church. And we are known for signs and for wonders. The God of VPA, the God of Pastor Alex Omokudu, day in, day out, is still doing miracles. He's doing signs and wonders. And testimony is the hallmark of this church. So if God has been good to you this past week, or this year, or your entire life, you are remember something that God has done for you this day and today. And you say, I want to put the devil to shame and bring glory to the name of Jesus. This is your time to testify. It's testimony time. It's testimony time. I, I believe God has been good to some of us this morning. The downfall of Satan. Oh, glory be to God. Praises be to Jesus. I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. I have seen it. You have said it. A glory. A power. Yes, I have said it. Said it. The downfall of Satan. A glory be to God. Yes, I have said it. You have said it. A glory. A power. Yes, I have said it. Said it. The downfall of Satan. A glory be to God. Yes, we have said it. Yes, you have said it. Jesus! Jesus! Can I have more volume on this microphone, please? More volume on this mic. What has God done for her? We serve a living God. Hallelujah. VPA. Oh, yes, we know it. Come. <laughs> this young girl came 10 years ago to see daddy. She wasn't walking. She lives in America. Today, she is walking. 
Hallelujah. You cannot be sitting on your seat. You cannot be sitting down here. It is like this. Shout Jesus. 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 A little girl, little baby, and she came from America. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Shout Jesus! Jesus! Let's hear from them. So what happened to the game? When she was born, she couldn't walk. She used to use like a lens to crawl like this. So they wanted her to have an operation because they said she would never walk, so she would be in a wheelchair. So I just told my sister, she was in America, I said, you know what, let me come and get her, and then I'll bring her to Pastor Alex because I've seen him working signs and wonders. The same God that is doing for everyone, and Pastor Alex's story you will still do the same for this girl. So I just went to America. I took, I brought her here. We started coming, deliverance. Every day we used to come. She was just crawling. She couldn't talk, everything. And then even her legs were like jelly. She couldn't even lift up or to stand up. Nothing, nothing. She couldn't. And then she stayed. Pastor Alex said she will not leave this church until she's walking. So we even had to overstay her visa. But she's American, so it wasn't a problem. And then she just started walking, and there she is. Yeah, she's walking. So I just thank you, Jesus. Thank you, what can God not do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. From America. Are you still in America? I know, but you came. Years ago, I your mom, and today look at her. She can walk. Thank you, Jesus. Walk. Hallelujah. Father, perfect, perfect the rest. Of you. Amen. That day, those that said I was disabled, I was there's no way I can be called I am today. But you step into my life. I change my story. For I change your daughter's life. Amen. The same path that was put. The same path I used to preach now. That day. Prove yourself strong. Amen. On your daughter's life. Amen. Perfect other concerns. Amen. Give me the oil. Give me the oil. She will talk. Tell. Jesus Christ, he ten of them and one came to give God the glory. And Jesus made, he, he patted on them and said, you will be made whole. For I declare that your daughter today has been made whole. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God be restored. God be healed. Can we appreciate Jesus? Shout Jesus. This is a miracle. Wow. Hallelujah. Come on to your seat. I'll see you later. Hallelujah. Bless you. He brought me pounds. I mean, these dollars. Your time has come. Hallelujah. Wow. This is what we talk about gratitude. She's come back. And believe me, she will come back again with another testimony. And then she will be talking then. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. What has God done for mommy? She's thanking God for adding another year to her life this week. She said that God has taken 20 years, so she's now just 55. <laughs> Congratulations, mommy. You are looking beautiful. 
looking very strong for 55. Congratulations. Hallelujah. You will grow stronger and stronger in the joy of the Lord. The peace of the Lord shall overwhelm you in Jesus' name. You will reap the fruit of your labor in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be proud of your children. You will not bear any of your children in Jesus' mighty name. Congratulations. Your time has come. He's thanking God for journey in mercies to Africa and back. Congra I mean, welcome back. Where did you go? Ivory Coast. How was it? Very good. Very good. Very is there anything you want to share with us in particular that God did for you while you were there? Af um, Ivory Coast. There is only one thing that I think is um, really uh, can go, I can testify really is uh, my mom is 100 years old. And then, Hallelujah. Yeah, she Thank is, you, Jesus. Yeah, so when I went there, I gathered all the family and I surprised her. We all, the she grandchildren, the great grandchildren, great great grandchildren, everybody were all together here. So I surprised, I called the meeting. So we all went, we surprised her with gifts and she blessed us in return. So that's one of the things that really came up uh, powerfully. Otherwise, God was, he, he took me there and he brought me safe. So I really, I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful for, of course, God has been merciful. In Jesus' name, thank you. You're welcome back. You will live, I mean, longer than your, great, your grandmother. You will live longer in the name of Jesus. As you have surprised her, the God of EPA will surprise you in Jesus' mighty name. Your children will also surprise you in Jesus' name. Shout Jesus! Jesus! Next testimony, please. She had an exam which was online, and if she failed that exam, then the whole study and the course that she was doing would have been failed, just based on the final exam. But she brought the papers to Daddy, when she went online, there was issues, the internet was going down, but even still, notwithstanding, she passed the exam with flying colors. She's given all the glory to God, and she still traveled to Uganda and back safely. Congratulations. Let's hear from her. Let's hear about that exam and what the challenges you faced. Shout, Jesus! Jesus! Before I went for that exam, I brought my PowerPoint uh, presentation to Daddy, and he raised it up. And on the day, um, I, I was working from home, and the internet was working okay. So the, the, um, the presentation was at 3.15. So um, when I started, it started really well, and then the internet went off. And I thought, like, what happened? So I just sat down, but I remembered nothing is going to stop me from passing because I already brought the papers to VPA. So um, about a few minutes later, the internet came back on. So the interview continued, and the internet went back off again. And I just sat there, and I was very confident, knowing that everything is going to be fine. So when it came back on, and they asked me, do you want to continue? I said, yes. So um, we continued. They just asked me a few more questions, and that was it. And um, when the results came back, I had a merit because I would have failed it because it was so messy. And if I failed that exam, I was going to fail the whole course because I was doing a postgraduate uh, degree. So I thank God of VPA because I have passed now. Congratulations. Yes. The Bible says those who know they are God, they shall be strong and shall do exploit. Despite the challenge, she was confident that because she has brought those documents to pa her papers to Papa, and Papa has prayed over it, she was confident that there can only be one outcome. And that is victory. And indeed she got it. That's hallelujah. Shout Jesus. Next. <laughs> She's thanking God. It was Excel's birthday this week. She oh. can't fail to come and give thanks. Because if not for this 
church, he wouldn't even be with us today to give God all the glory. Congratulations, Excel. We know your story. Um, I think uh, the mother should say something. Uh, say something. Let, let, hear, I mean, remind us again about the story of Excel and how these ones came and uh, Shout Jesus. Hallelujah. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Shout Jesus. Jesus. I just want to rub at the moment that God knows. I just want to thank God for Excel. He's um, six years on Friday. The six years hasn't been easy, but I give God all the glory. Amen. I had Excel 2016. It was on a Friday. He passed on the wheel, and then when he came back, he, when he came out, he wasn't here with us. But thank God they revived him. He came back to life, and then he went into coma. By then, there has already been injured by his right hand arm. So after they told us it was 50-50, he will make it or he will not make it. Even if he make it, he will have a brain injury. But give the all the glory. Then he came out from the cool in three days. They didn't believe it. After that, social services came. They took Excel from us. December 2016, 23rd of December. Then on the 26th, we came to see Pastor Alex. And I was crying. I couldn't hold my tears. He was like, where is your son? And then my husband told him they had just taken him three days ago. He said, we should go and have another baby. <laughs> At this point, I said to my mind, what is he talking about? I just came out of trauma. I haven't recovered from the trauma. My son has been taken away again, but not another baby. Mm -mm. So I didn't take it. Then we came back to see him again. He was so upset this time. You know, when, daddy, when he's upset, you know how it is. Tell me about it. <laughs> you can't even look at his face when he's upset. So after that, my husband was talking to me then. I said, okay, we'll go. We had excellent came. Give God all the glory. We had excellent. Excel came back before I even had excellent. And they said in their history, it has never happened before for a child to come back after the, before the final hearing. So Excel was here, and then Excellent was born, and Emmet was born, and then we are expecting another one soon. I give God all the glory. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Indeed, when a, star, when a child carries an unusual star, there are challenges, there are issues. Even with Jesus, they wanted to you know, kill him as a, as a baby. So I'm not surprised. This child is an unusual child. Amen? In a positive sense. So as your name, your name will speak for you. You are excel, you will excel in whatever you go. Among your peers, you shall excel. In your generation, you shall excel. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Congratulations again. thanking God in advance for answering her prayers. She said she was praying on Friday with her children, and one of the children said to her, don't worry, go and testify, your prayers have been answered. She said she received that, and she's giving thanks already because she knows the God of VPA hears everything. Amen, even from the mouth of a, of a child. Let's hear, I think she wants to talk. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Shout Jesus. Jesus. It's not all about what God is doing in our life. It's if you believe. He said, these signs and wonders we shall follow those who believe. Who believe. Very true. I've been praying for something. I did not tell any one of my children. But Friday, I remember that it was starting years since my father passed. I gathered them together. I cooked some food for them and we pray. And after when we pray, when they was about to go, so one of them said, Mom, let us pray. And we pray. In the middle of that prayer, she said, Mom, 
go to church on Sunday, make sure you give thanks because he was praying for something and God said he has answered your prayer. Go and do uh, faith, thanksgiving. And I believe and I hold on to it because I know God has answered my prayer. Amen. Whatever it is, indeed, it is answered in Jesus' mighty name. Your time has come. She's thanking God for divine protection of her son. He was in a serious car accident, but nothing, no scratch was on his body at all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, your brother. Shout Jesus! Jesus! Shout Jesus! Jesus! Shout, shout Jesus! Jesus! God of VPA is amazing. Hallelujah. He's powerful. Amen. He's everything to me and my family. Church, I'm here to just give thanks with my daughter here. We're just thanking God for what he did for us. Um, on Thursday, my son was driving. He was just going on his own. And from nowhere, a woman just beat the light and ran into him and crushed his car. But I just thank God nothing happened to him. And I am giving glory to God. The anointing in this house is powerful. Yes. As we step in here, we are standing in God for our families. Right. Just on Monday, I came to, I just had that urge to come and seek the face of God. I came for counseling, I came to see daddy. And all he did was just shower prayers on my children. And look at how God defended us. Shout Jesus! Jesus! I just want to thank God too. Um, two, about two years ago, why are you crying? We are testifying. We are hearing you. Two years ago, I could have died. I was meant to go. So I went to Miami, you know, the next day. I was meant to go to Portugal. I was meant to go for whiskey. I was meant to go for Afro Nation. And then I remember my mom said, just follow me to church. And then I came. And then I was jet lagged. I was tired. I was sleeping. And she gave me 20 pounds to put in daddy's hands. I did not. When I slept and I missed the opportunity to put it, put it in his hands, and she told me, you have to go and put that money in daddy's hands. And then I obeyed, I went, <laughs> and daddy said, his spirit said, no, don't go. And I remember saying, ah, daddy, my mind, I said, ah, I don't like this man. Ah, I've booked my ticket, all my friends are going. Ah, how am I going to tell my friends the next morning? How am I going to tell them? We've booked the whole holiday, everything I've paid off. How am I going to tell them I'm not coming? What lie am I going to lie that I'm not coming? I was debating, debating, debating. And I remember I couldn't sleep. I just couldn't sleep. The, the guilt in me, if I had gone, was just too deep. So in the end, I didn't go. And I remember I came to a service here. And it was a service about children. And you were, you were praying on, on the youth. And I came. And then going back home that evening, out of nowhere, I just blacked out on the wheels. Imagine, at that time, you will have been in the show. You will have been in the show. And look at what happened to her. Black out. Let's see it. And then I remember, I can't, I can't die on the wheel. My, my mom is in Nigeria. It's just me. No one here. My brothers are in Nottingham. I, I don't know what to do. And I remember when I was going home, I was playing Christian music. I remember that was what was keeping me going, keeping me going, so I don't sleep on the road, not knowing that I was going to completely black out. And then a guy came, was knocking, because I blacked out, and then I'm, the car just swerved on the side of the road. And then a guy came and saw, literally saw me 
face down like this and was hitting the window. And then that's how they called the ambulance. And then I went into the ambulance and told me, literally had a heart attack. So I just, I just thank God that since then, and we appreciate Jesus. We can do better. You see, this is a testimony. You don't understand. I see a good girl. Somebody has already paid for holiday. Pay for holiday. To go during the way to America. And now she stopped again. UK and the mother and it, the, the mother knows she's going but said let's go to church let's go to church and she followed her mother that's the of obedience that was in them follow, follow her mother and the mother said there is money go and put in papa's hand that's enough to even tell her go about this money. He didn't put it in my ADM, but she came to my office and put the money. And now he was telling me that she wanted to go if she's going on holiday. I said, God said, I don't have peace here. I don't have peace in this holiday. Then she has not told me that she's going for the video. Am I correct? I was not aware of the video and the music he was going to put. I just had in my spirit to talk to God. Just like God told me about one body, I can't forget that place. And God said, Don't go. She tried to convince me by telling me that the friend, that the, the friend is now the president of the country, that they are doing the inauguration, that like in Liberia. I said, Ah. God said, don't go. And the boy went and died. But she refused. She obeyed the voice of God. That was tough. I remember, I told her that this is not the first time. I told her that I will pay for the ticket. But I did, but there was no need to have money. I remember there was a boy I paid for ticket for. I was to go to America and the boy did not go. God, what God showed me. But you can imagine if she has gone, the mother will not be there. This is an attack. She never knew that so she can ever happen. She was going to dance with the friends in the middle. In the middle. Remember, in that place, they smoke them, they do all kinds of things them. In short, the devil himself is there. The devil is there. And at that time, if we should refuse to go, the Bible said, surely, they must surely gather. The gather is already on. And they still perform their interference on earth. But thank God that he has already obeyed the voice of you know, it's, it's the way God operates, you don't understand. I was watching the, your sons, the accident. I was, the, the way that's not, I mean, he was shaking his head, because he was playing the car. And suddenly, Twa! I said, God. He was, maybe the car was shaking his head now. And suddenly, if not for God, that is on our side. That will have been the end. If not for the God that was on our side, that had attack, that would have been the end. You can see, we should always obey the voice of God. And since that day, she has been on fire for God. Since that day, before that time, ask her, the husband will not let her go to church. At that we don't see what God is doing. At that time, the husband will not say, said, Anytime the husband comes from Nigeria, he, he can go out the woman. 
But after that time, the man now saw the benefit of family are enjoying. I thought the man would not tell the woman to go, let me cook, go to church. There's the man that would, that would never allow the wife to go out of the house. But he would say, don't worry, let me do your job, go to church. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's how God works. That's why when you put God first, what is death? What is sickness? What is reproach? They will not come near your dwelling place. When loving God becomes your lifestyle, look at her. She loved God. I've not seen a woman like this in my life. Because what about me? I don't know how to pretend. If it's not sweet, it's not sweet. <laughs> if it's not sweet, it's not sweet. But this woman, I can't even tell my sister, it's not sweet because she will just, after he's sorting me, eh? and you can her back and say, look at this rat. But this one, not my sister, I will talk about it. Should, I don't want to tell him. It's not, he knows if I, if, if I don't eat the food, if I don't eat the food, he expects to feed the food. But if I don't eat the food, finish. She would not, not realize that maybe this man did not enjoy it. And before she starts cooking, she would say, Holy Ghost, please let daddy enjoy this food. Let, let Holy Ghost, I will not be the one to cook. Be the one doing everything so that they can be happy. Last two weeks, I caught her. Last two weeks. Because I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't pretend. After he did the food, the rice, uh, I said, oh, look, I have to call her. And I called her and said, uh, Mary Mother, what did you add to this food? He said, is the anointing on here? I said, add more. <laughs> I said, add more. I said, the stew is too sweet. Ask Mary. I told Mary, because normally, they will put stew in the, and I will eat for the week. But there's no problem. I still have enough there. I said, Mary, don't touch that stew. Just one of last week, don't touch it. Not know that the one he cooked tonight with two is even more sweeter. <laughs> so right now, I was now confused. Because the first one said, don't touch. <laughs> it's sweet. And the other one is not warm. Sweeter. You know what I did? And I better pour all. <laughs> Selfish ourselves. No, no, let's stop fooling ourselves. But, but you know, people at times they are the ones that are putting enemy. For they are enemy to themselves. I've learned something from this church. I've learned from God that your enemy, they are so close to you. When Jesus was in a meeting, they wrote to Jesus and said, My parents is waiting for you. Jesus said, These are now my parents. These are now my sister, my brother, my parents. Only God knows what Jesus was going through with, their, with his parents. I cannot say what I cannot enjoy from my sister, from my brother. I am enjoying it from her. This is truly my mother, my sister, my brother, my everything. Thank you, Jesus. This master cannot tolerate. She can tolerate it. This master cannot bear. She can bear it. The kind of love that is not in my sister, the love is there. That's why I'm not surprised what God is doing in our life. Lovely family. I know you have not seen it yet. I don't care what the devil is doing. I will say better is the end of a matter. Your head, you will say, God, thank you.
because you would, you would not be saying, if not for God that has served me at my end, and no other I'm a joy, what I'm a joy. You will enjoy every of your children. The fruit of your labor, you will enjoy it. And then when the one that work against you, it, you will see their head. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tell me, Pastor Alex. Tell me, Pastor Alex. I will see the end of my enemy. In Jesus' name. Go and do more exploit. Go and do more exploit for you. Go and do more exploit. Go up. Go up. Fulfill your destiny in Christ. Can we appreciate Jesus? Bless you, bless you, bless you. Your time has come. Shout Jesus. Jesus. She's redeeming her marriage seed. Her children marriage seed. Because she's married. Father, <laughs> defend your word. Do a text. Do it in. Amen. Speedily. Amen. As you will come out with testimony. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Your time has come. Amen. Bless you. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know what to do. What's the way you shake them? Shake them. He's thankful for this ministry because he said the peace of God passes understanding. This morning when he woke up, the song just played on his phone that um, I didn't know you would honor me this way. And he said, although not all of his prayers are answered. He just felt the peace of God and knows that all of his prayers are truly answered. Can we appreciate Jesus? <coughs> <laughs> I you be thinking, Pastor, should everybody this thing? That business. That business. And for the people of you, not for that business, I see God demonstrating something new in your life. God business does not long, do long. It manifests. When it is God, you can't be going around the same circle. I see an idea coming your way. Not the idea you hear, you are on the phone. A new idea. Come on, put your hand there. Let the power of God manifest it. Can we appreciate Jesus? She's giving glory to God, not just for protecting her, but her family. She said her brother had a couple of serious incidents where he nearly lost his life, but God is protecting her and her family. Can we appreciate Jesus? When I see her, I say, God, thank you. What she used to, what she used to go through it for, just this go through it again. Most people that used to find themselves in the hospital. Correct. Now, after you came for deliverance here, after you start, you quite strength. And since then, no will perform against you ever prosper. And I see you growing from glory to glory. Amen. From honor to honor. Amen. It's can only be God. Come, daughter. Come put your idea. I receive it. Shout Jesus! Jesus! Our God never sleeps or never, slumber. Never, never. I was just sitting down there and I heard Mary's testimony, her life testimony. And the Spirit of God reminded me, you have a testimony. Wow. And uh, I was going to pick up my kids and my baby was behind the car. And on a bend, there was this lorry, this trailer carrying stones. And he just released stones on my waistband. Can't imagine. And I bent down and shouted, blood of Jesus. I wasn't even because I was driving. Wow. And to God be the glory, I raised up my hand and my car was still on the road. I just want to give God all the praise. Shout, Shout Jesus! 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 You see, do you know what that? Shh. People that die. Explain what killed them. All 
they will say is an accident. They will tell you, Trilla has gone. I should not move on it. Something else. What they will say is an accident. But thank God that she's alive to demonstrate what happened to her. She said, the stone fell in the car. And she forgot to pull out she was traveling. And screamed, Jesus! That means she was not concentrated again and she was the leg was the better. But as she opened her eyes and she still traveled. That can only be God. And nothing happened to my whiskey. I came down and I was looking at it. No scratch. to you. Church, it's good to know this God. What I said, it's good to know him. When you know him, what is killing others? <laughs> Cannot come near you. That's why that prayer point is very important. Now whatever that is meant to end you up, you are the one that will end them up. Amen. But it's if I, you already said the end of your enemy. Amen. Say, my time has come. My time has come. Wow. What a mighty God we serve. In Jesus' name. You've done let me, let me, so okay. Let me, let me go try it. Go sit down. We cannot tell. In Jesus' name, sit down. Go to Oshan. My son in with that song. You know, it's a place good at times. I say, Father, you see your children preaching to you. You see them preach to you. It's good, Abby. To see your children preaching to you. It's good to see your children. Come to me and say, Daddy, I bought you a new car. Daddy, I bought you a new house. Daddy, I brought you an envelope. It's always good to see your children. That you see them doing well when you are alive. Not after you are, you are dead. You are dead. Today, on to Osham. Minister Emmanuel to the church. Rise up as worship him. Oh, you've done so much for us. We cannot tell it all. Receive all. If we had 10,000 songs, it still won't be enough. We say, Receive all my praise. Hey, you are the ancients of days. And when you heal, you heal completely.
Shout Jesus! Shout Jesus! Shout Jesus! I just want you to appreciate daddy. Appreciate daddy, appreciate him, appreciate him. In Jesus' name we pray. Daddy, I thank you so much for this opportunity. Give it to me. Mommy, I thank you. Shh. Go and run for God. Don't do that for me. Go and run that for me. Run for God, not me. Receive all my praise. You are worthy. Time has come. Say to your neighbor, your time has come. Another one, your time has come. Another one, your time has come. And another one, your time has come. Shout Jesus. Be seated in Jesus' name. This morning, we'll be talking about the secret power of gratitude. The secret power of gratitude. Gratitude means showing appreciation. Gratitude means giving thanks to God. Gratitude means acknowledge what God has done for you. Gratitude means recognition. Or you are returning back the kindness that God has done for you. We're going to read the book of Psalm 150, verses 1 to 6. Psalm 150, 1 to 6. He said, Pray ye the Lord. Praise God in his strength traveling. Praise him in the fulfillment of his power. Praise him for his mighty act. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of trumpet. Praise him with passion and harp. For said, Praise him with the timber and sand. Praise him with string, instrument, and organs. Five. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sad cymbals. And number six said, Let everything that has breath. Let everything that has breath. Praise ye the Lord. Everything, either in heaven, on earth, Inside the sea, under the earth, let everything, including you, Hallelujah. praise the Lord. As you enter the second half this year, you may be expressed, your expression may have not manifested yet. Maybe your marriage, your business, your finance, your health, your ministry, you have been trusting God for many things. And it's not manifesting. I come to tell you that this morning they shall manifest in Jesus' name. Your healing will manifest in Jesus' name. God will open a supernatural door for you. Whatever you are passing through, if you can turn away from that issue now and begin to focus on how you are going to show gratitude to God. He will deliver your breath into your hand. They are secret power in gratitude. It is a weapon that opens doors. When you show God gratitude, it's a weapon that opens doors. In every, when everything has failed, men of gratitude never depreciate in life. Men of gratitude never lose their value. Men of gratitude never be little or be little by change of circumstances. Do you desire a common breakthrough? Then show gratitude to God. This morning I said, 
I should manifest the power of gratitude. Whatever it takes for that manifestation to come, it will come to your hand in the name of Jesus. Beloved, the key that will open the rest of this year is for you to have gratitude towards God. If you can thank God for lifting, if you can thank God for blessing, if you can thank God for supporting you, if you can thank God for open doors, if you can thank God for deliverance, that miracle is coming to you in the name of Jesus. There is the secret power in gratitude that is able to break every joke. It does not matter how hard, how solid, how difficult that joke is. Gratitude to God can break that yoke. This morning, I should be to have gratitude to God, show gratitude to God, that miracle is coming to you in the name of Jesus. There is a secret power of gratitude. Fatal secret power of gratitude. Number one, your gratitude commit God to your kiss. When you show God gratitude, you are committing him to your kiss. If you want to get God to commit to your life, to your business, to your family, to your career, to your ministry, to your plan, show him gratitude. Just like I just done. That is a law for God. Gratitude. Gratitude. I remember we were in the other side of the building. I remember there. That place was on lease. That building was on lease hole. Which means the freeholder can change that agreement at any time. We were having a lot of areas there. Bills to pay. This man, that daddy was rolling for God. He was showing God gratitude. Rolling for God. As we were doing that, God said to him, look forward. Look opposite. What did you see? Appreciating God. For areas. Appreciating God. For freehold. Appreciating God for property that is not yet yours. And God said to him, look opposite. What did you see? And he saw this building. He came here. What did he do? He saw. And that's it. What did he do? He sacrificed. So the thing won't be balanced. Appreciation, sowing, sacrifice. And today the building belongs to us. Shout Jesus. In all that you do, you must learn how to appreciate God. For God to take you to the next level, you will need to know how to appreciate God. Show him gratitude. Things have to be balanced. Appreciation, sowing, sacrifice, balanced equation. Even the water you are drinking need to be balanced. You need to mix H2 and O2 together to form water. <laughs> Some of them has come. Complain and can never win with God. When you complain, you can never win with God. Psalm 62, 67, 5 to 6. Say, let people praise thee. Oh God, let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield their increase. And God, even our God, shall bless us. Are you trusting God for increase? Show him gratitude. Are you trusting God for a miracle? Appreciate him. Whatever you are doing, show him gratitude so that he can open a new door for you. Resources around you, the only way you can press and open God's eyes. When you want to see new things, you need to begin to show God gratitude. There is a hidden riches. There are hidden riches. There are hidden possibilities. There are hidden opportunities around you. The only way you can see them is when you show gratitude. I prophesy this morning. As you show God your gratitude, a new thing is coming to your life in the name of Jesus. He will run away that stubby block. He will dry up those tears. That yoke will be broken. He will open a new door. Every possibility shall be possible. Shout Jesus. Showing God that. Number two, 
your gratitude can destroy the destroyer. When you show God gratitude, he can destroy your destroyer. That is secret. You see that in the book of 1 Corinthians 13. Say, nine that murmur ye. And some of them also murmur. And they were destroyed of the destroyer. God hates people that murmur. One of the reasons many have not experienced better since the beginning of this year, because they murmur and complain. They murmur and complain about everything. You see that again in the book of Exodus 16, 12. Say, I have heard the murmuring of the children of Israel. Speak unto them, saying, And even you shall eat the flesh, and in the morning you shall be filled with bread, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God. He hates murmuring. Every memory is ultimately against God. Memory brings destruction. Memory brings reception. Reception means decrease. When you are memory, you are disbanding yourself. When you are memory, you are disrespecting yourself. Memory brings reduction. When you memory, you are beginning to hate yourself for the blessing of God. Mama, we bring obstruction. Stop it. Stop mama being against God. A complainer is, ne is never free from God. When you begin to complain, God is not happy about it. When you begin to complain, he back you. He gives the chance to complain. Because you are not seeing what he's doing for you. Say my time has come. Say my time has come. Stop memory. Stop complaining. Be about what you have not yet done. And instead of you to complain, to murmur, turn your memory into praise. Turn your memory into praise. If you don't have to praise God, roll for God. If you don't have to sing song, begin to thank God. You need to do one thing to please God for you, for God to do a new thing in your life. Say, my time has come. First Thessalonians 5, 18. He said, in everything, in everything, not one thing. In everything, give thanks. Either people know you, love you, give thanks. Either they call you name, give thanks. Either they bless you, give thanks. Either they call you or not, give thanks. You enter the church, nobody say good morning to you, give thanks. Either they give you a bad name, give thanks. They greet you, they don't greet you, give thanks. Say, in everything. The doctor give you a bad report, give thanks. They say you are going home, they're going to deport you, give thanks. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God concerning you. God wants you to give him thanks. He doesn't want you to complain. Any man who murmurs against God is exercising his grace and favor. So that is why we need to give God thanks in everything. So my time has come. Gratitude, your gratitude brings increase. When you give, when you give God gratitude, it brings increase in every area of your life. Matthew 25, 14 to 15. For the kingdom of God is like a man traveling so far to another country who called his old servant and delivered unto them goods. Unto one he gave five talents, another two, another one to everyone according to his ability. And straight forward, he start the journey. In this parable of the talent, one that have, one that noticed that the master gives everybody everything. There is something in you there is something in your hand. There is something you can do. Because everybody has his own ability. There is no one who can say that I have not received anything from master. Even when you were in your mother's womb, you say, I know you. I form you. I know what you will be. Some supposed to be a doctor today. They are not. They bury their talent. You're supposed to be a lawyer today. You are not. You bury your talent. You're supposed to be a good singer in the house of God. You are not. You bury your talent. You're supposed to be a pastor. 
you are not. You bury your talent. I tell you, once you show God gratitude, God will open your eyes to see your talent in the name of Jesus. There is nothing, there is nobody who comes to this world empty. We are all gifted for one thing or the other. By the time you show God gratitude for who he is, God will open your eyes to see them. The ungrateful servant complained. He was complaining. Some have five. Some have two. How come I have one? How come I have one? What did he do? He buried the one that he has. He buried it. And he did not have increase. The other have increase. Five have increase. Two have increase. But him that had one, he buried his own talent. He buried it. Because he was ungrateful. He was ungrateful. When, when he knew that there was, even the head he had, he had to break the two. God, God will give you a breakthrough that will make your testimony to encourage others in the name of Jesus. He will visit you with a new miracle. He will roll that bad luck away. He will do a new thing in your life today. The ungrateful servant did not value what he has. You need to value what you have. You need to value what, what is in your hand. You need to respect it. You need to respect what God has given to you. You need to work on it. You need to act on it for increase to come. For you to have abundance. God is a competitor. God will competitive you with whatever is your hand in the name of Jesus. Don't be like the ungrateful servant that buried his talent. Instead of him to increase, he decreased and nothing happened in his life. This morning, I speak that God of Pastor Smogudo will open your eyes to see your talent in the name of Jesus. God is able to compensate you for all that you have lost. All that you have wasted, all the sickness you have suffered, all the frustration you have, frustration you have experienced, he's able to compensate you only if you can praise him. Only if you can thank him. Only if you can show gratitude to him. He's able to, to compensate you. So my time has come. I see God competing you this morning in the name of Jesus. Every situation bad or good, that you are going to face it. God is going to turn it around for your favor in the name of Jesus. As you begin to show God that it is, it does not matter what the devil have done. God will frustrate that devil in the name of Jesus. Gratitude, kindness, appreciation. The Bible said, even Hannah, thank God. Hannah, after believing God for a child, for a period of so many years, at an old age, he prayed, he fasted, he did what he had to do. God finally granted Hannah a son. She thanked God. She bring the son to the priest, Eli. I said to Eli, this is the son you've helped me to pray. This is the son you have prayed for me. I have bring the child to you, so thank God. And I did then we thank God after winning the battle with the Philistine. He thanked God. Solomon, the king, for he, he thanked God because God that provided for him a plan of dedication for the temple. How are you thanking God? What are you thanking God with? How are you acknowledging God? How are you appreciating God? You need to thank God so that he can do extraordinary thing for you. Say my time has come. Say my time has come. The Lord will do a great thing in your life if you begin to laugh all the time. He hit people who are sad. He hit people who are, who are murmuring. He hit people who are complaining. He said, if you can, give me thanks. If you can, give me thanks. If you can appreciate me. If you can show me tight. Show me gratitude through your tight. Show me gratitude to your offering. Show me gratitude to your vow. Like I said, we 
Uwede. Uwede. That building. On a leasehold. That building, the freeholder can take it at any time. We haven't bought it yet. It doesn't belong to us. Then, construction was going on. Work was going on. Areas piled up. I was there. I know what's happening. Daddy was rolling. He was rolling. I appreciated God. He was appreciating God. As he was doing that, God said, My son, get up. Get up and move forward. Look forward. What did you see? What did you see? His mind was never here in this building. He never thought of this building. But he was appreciating God. And God said to him, look forward. What did you see? He saw this building. He came. He came and he met somebody. This great man. He saw. He gave. He must say, no, 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 thank you. I don't want to put 200 pounds. Daddy said, don't you have children? He grabbed children, give it to them. He must say, my children. He grabbed the money, put it in the pocket. <laughs> he put it in his pocket. Not only that, he sacrificed. A woman came. My house is going to be possessed. My house is going to be possessed. My house is going to be possessed. Daddy said, how much? How much? After a lot of work there. After a hard departition there. If you see the partition that night, that place was packed. No space. Over 300 people. Then, the offering that was collected, the offering that was collected, that was exactly the money the woman said she wanted. 4,000 pounds. As he gave it out, he sacrificed. He was appreciating God first. He saw, he sacrificed. And God opened his eyes. That is how we get this place. That is how we get this place. Shout Jesus. From 4,000, 1 million came. 4,000, 1 million came. I don't know how you want to appreciate God. I don't know how you want to thank God. I don't know how you want to bless God. Your one million will come in the name of Jesus. Shout Jesus. Thanks. Appreciation. Sacrifice. Sowing. The, they, they have to be balanced. If it doesn't balance, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Whatever you are enjoying now, whatever you think you are enjoying now, you need to give God thanks. Don't bury your talent. Don't keep your talent secret. Don't hide it. Like the ugly, ugly, the ungrateful talent who refused to say God. I'm not happy. He told God, I'm not happy. You give other five. You give some two. Why me one? Why? Why did you give me one? He was not happy about it. He become ungrateful. This morning I prophesy. I should give God gratitude. A miracle, a miracle, a miracle, a miracle that will summon out your enemy is coming your way. <laughs> Number four, the last point. Gratitude seed your testimony. When you show gratitude to God, it seeds your testimony. The ten leper came to Jesus. The ten leper they came to Jesus. And they all received their healing. Jesus was on his way. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. He was walking to Jerusalem. He was walking to Jerusalem. And he approached Samaria. He approached Galilee. And some lepers, they saw him from far. They saw Jesus from far. They screamed, Jesus! Jesus! The son of the living God, the master, have mercy on me. Have mercy on us. We are lepers. We have been like this for so many years. 
have mercy. They saw Jesus. They go after Jesus. They run after Jesus. Have mercy upon us. Jesus said, okay, come here. Go. Go. And show yourself to the priest. Go. And show yourself to the priest. And they were going to show the self of the priest. They were healed. They were healed. And after that, shout Jesus. And after that, they were thin. Jesus healed. They were thin. That was made clear. Only one. Only one. Only one came back to show thanks. Only one came back to show appreciation. Only one came back to soul. Only one came to say, Jesus, I kneel on my feet. You heal me. Jesus said to them, where? Where are the nine? Where are the nine? It was ten of you that were clean. It was ten of you that were healed. Where are the nine? Where are you? Come and testify. You are not. Where are you? The air you are breathing in is not your one. The job you are working with is not your one. The clothes you are putting on, you didn't make it. You are beautiful. It's not your body. Where are the nine? Where are the nine? Only one came to give God praise. Tonight, that's stubborn spirit that's making you not to give thanks. It's broken by fire. Shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Yes. Only one came to get to show gratitude. Only one came to appreciate. Only one came to give God thanks. Only one came. Some of us will never be faithful when we are giving thanks. Some of us will never be faithful in our giving. Some of us will never be faithful in our tight. Some of us will never be faithful even when we pledge. Even when we pledge. So, so that they don't know why I'm saying this, forgive me. Even when we pledge, some of us don't even, they come out for that little season. They just come out. And when it's time to bring, they come out the first day, you see 30 people. Time to, time to redeem it, you see 10. You see 15. Where are the nine? Where are they gone? Only one came to give God praise. And the Bible said, because you have come, go, the, your faith has made you whole. Go, your faith has delivered you. Go, your faith has healed you. Go, go and testify. Go, come back with testimony. Shout Jesus. <laughs> Only one thing. Listen, when you show gratitude to God, Faithfulness, he will open your eyes. I used to be one of it. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. I used, I, I used to be one of it. To give. <laughs> to give. Listen, I was walking in darkness. Daddy will come here. He will let me. He will let me. I will pray this month. Next month, I will not pray. <laughs> For me to go to his office, uh -uh. because he will say, I will, I will pay your time. Listen, listen. And when I keep doing it, when I keep doing it, heaven open. Heaven open. Heaven open. With my English, I'm never qualified to be a manager. The way I look, I never qualify to be a housing property director. I'm not supposed to. Now, I have to choose who will work with me. <laughs> I have to choose who will follow me. I have to choose who I will take along. Because the God of Pasuales break that yard. If you want to be 
want to have it. If you want to turn around, appreciation. Your offering. Your tithe. Your vow. Your soul. Don't come here. You live 20, 100 at home. You come here with 5 pounds. Because you know, you know, so that I'm sorry. Please. Okay. <laughs> because, because, you know, no matter how they say it, you already have there in your pocket. You already have in your pocket. Forget to bless you. He said, only one came. Only one man came to say, Lord, thank you. Jesus, thank you. Hannah, after God had blessed her, he brought the child. He brought the child to the priest who prayed for her. He said, my priest, this is the child. You help me to pray. I have come for you to dedicate him. I have come for you to dedicate him. What are you bringing to thank God? What are you coming with to thank God? What are you coming with to appreciate God? Don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. God is not mark. If you want home of peace paper, it will come when you show good appreciation. It's still delay. It's still there. Because you are not, you are not showing. You are not, you yourself, you are not be faithful. How can God open it? When you yourself, you murmur. You murmur. How can God give it to you when you complain? How can God give it to you when you are not a tighter? How can God give it to you? Even if you say you are not working. For the money you pick on the floor. I have picked money in this country on the floor. Any of the money, I will go to my car. Any of the money, I saw 20 pounds. No one, not two. So you must do something. Money must come to your hand. Money must come to your hand. But you need to know how to show appreciation. You need to know how to go. Show gratitude. Don't deceive yourself. Learn how to show thanks. David, look at the giant before him. The man was fully loaded with demons. What's everything from his forehead to his feet? And a little boy, boy a little boy came. And you look at the, Goliath, look at him, say, Sam, um, David, you, you want to fight me? <laughs> he was laughing a laugh of defeat. Your enemy will laugh a laugh of defeat. He was laughing. <laughs> and what you say, don't buy me. David said, not by my power, but by the spirit of the Lord. He appreciates God. Only with one stone. Only with one stone. Fire! Only with one stone. He gone down. Your enemy. Tonight, this morning, fire of God will destroy them. Fire of God will destroy them. Fire of God will destroy them. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter where you are operating, what they are operating from. But if you learn how to show thanks. Look at Joseph. They hate him. They hate him. For no reason. Because he has a dream. Anyone that hates your dream. You are coming to this church. Anyone that hates your dream. They will enter ground by fire. Even Jesus. When he died, they killed him, <laughs> put him in the grave. They called the army. <laughs> you must stay there. Oh. You must watch him. Oh. They say he's master. Oh. They say he's king. Now he's dead. So we, we, we put him in the grave. grave. We, they put a stone on it. Jesus. Amen. Can we appreciate you? Jesus. We can't do better. We can't do better. Shout Jesus! Let's appreciate God for his life. Hey, thank God. Let's thank God. In Jesus' name, it is settled.
know, it's, it's well known. It's known. It's gone up. He's, I mean, he, he wants to enjoy the preaching. He wants to look at it. He wants to enjoy the preaching. But thank God for his life. You know, that's how it should be. When we started and it was, I, I can say he was confused, you know, that I'm, I'm, studying, I'm studying the altar. And I was not too happy. I know what I will do when they said come and preach for the first time and thank God that he was not picking up and I, and I saw him try to give me the praise I said Baro I don't know how to be that to him in my mind whoa whoa I don't want to embarrass him for the first time I said God what's wrong with this guy that's why they need die for me. I said, thank you, Jesus. My friend, run. Don't need that for me. Because it is, it can't be God that gives you such opportunity. When you sit down, the, the first time you get to church, don't forget that first time. What you think? The first time you get to this church, how did you feel? You walk in. You saw protocol. You saw people, you saw ministers. Not know that one day you will stand in the altar and minister to even Pastor Ernest. Listen to you. As you begin to do things like this, I'm telling you, God begin to, will begin to elevate you. you. will begin to shock you. I'm telling you, I was angry the role for God. But not no two that me two. I will equally rule. If I know that me, I will rule, there's no way I should be angry. Because I wanted it to roll. When I saw him not rolling, who would bomb me? Who bought me to not study? Who bought me to be studying while he was rolling? I have to go that to, to roll for the king of kings, for the lord of lords, for the one that can switch that machine of you. Do you know that if time is not taken, it is possible to become too familiar with the blessings that you enjoy from God. If you go to Africa, where you came from, or any part of the world you came from, people who live there, you see the way they look, and you are here in the United Kingdom, free from bandit. Free from Boko Haram. Free from enemy. You will know how to appreciate God. When you go to the hospital, I see people that are languishing there. People, they have money in the bank. They have money in the bank. They have clothes. And yet, they are not wearing hospital clothes. And you, you are studying looking. You should always learn to appreciate God. One thing you must know is that God does not need your money. God does not eat your food. The only way you can feed God is giving him gratitude. That is the food he eats. Don't take everything for granted.
started. I was coming on Monday to church. Ask Peter. Ask Peter. Peter knows that any time I go to church, I, I walk into my camp, the first thing I will look is the, the plastic that is outside. It's transparent. You can see where the digital is. You can know about this so nice now. Cocaine. That's what I see cocaine for. But they say cocaine is very expensive. But I've not seen cocaine before. So I was, I was look at the, the position of the diesel. And I tell Peter, tell me this. I don't, I said, Peter, you have to be the spirit. But you say it's false. And I was thinking about at the opponent is the one we pay money to. The opponent. The opponent. And the opponent have already told Peter, we have not paid him the last one. The, no, the, the last one week is oh, finish again now. I said, Peter. Peter reminded me as I was coming to the church. And one minute, as I stepped out of here, I saw when you want to rush to me. But you changed that day. I was wondering uh, because you, 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 you were looking too smallish. And I was asking Peter, is it the same woman that gave me five thousand? up? Ask Peter. Say, I ask you, I said, is that that woman? Because she looked different now. And she ran to me. Papa, take for the reason. I said, God, whatever. You know, God knows how to embarrass you with blessing. Don't be familiar with the blessing you are enjoying from God. You should know how expensive this air you are breathing will cost. If man is the one that, that supply, <laughs> if men are the one that supply air, <laughs> if men are the one that supply air, just as they supply light. I'm not supposed to be here again. <laughs> we enjoy things from God that will make us that will make us every day. Don't even if I'm that giving God gratitude. Because some people want to go out and they cannot go out, but you're going out. When you when you are dressing up, you want to See what the mirror is telling you whether you are looking good. That is God. You must give God gratitude as you are looking at the mirror and say, Father, oh, thank you. I never knew that one day I will have hair again. I never knew. So when I'm seeing the air, I said, God, oh, so you mean there's the air in my body? It was my son, Alice, that that's why he posted him. See, that is that met you. See, that I became your, and that's my father. You don't have air. I said, Holy Spirit. He said, No, you don't have air yet. You don't have air in the year. I said, Holy Spirit. If I don't know, I was in Nigeria. I did shave as they came out. I said, I can't wait to see Alice. And when I saw him, he looked at me. He said, That is not air. You still have to have air. What can God do for this man? I can go to toilet and not give God gratitude. Toilet will take its your energy. See, the body is so flexible that anything can block your anus. I've not somebody somebody say that he can't uh, spread around and he can't pull and you are praying. There's no day I may I don't give God gratitude. You must do it. Don't take the blessing of God for granted. Even though he said, let everything that has bread, let everything that has bread, you still have the last bread. Press him. He will give you life. Let everything that has bread. Don't let those need stop you 
from giving God food. God is happy when you are taking him. Don't let me go out of the child. Make you begin to depress. Don't let because of money depress you. People that are depressing you, they can't, they can't praise God. Always learn how to cultivate an art of gratitude to God. And God said, your, 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 your life will yield what? Increase. We will let to the grow gratitude. Your life will do what? Yield increase. Your life yield increase. And know that you are set for increase. You are set for multiplying. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what you want to give God praise for this morning. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, face his life. Without life, I will not be here. Give him praise for keeping you alive in this wicked world. In this wicked world, thank God for keeping you alive. Thank you for giving your life in this wicked world. For keeping me in the land of the living. Oh God. John, listen. If not for God, that is on our side. You can't be living. As we get to appreciate God for the life, I declare upon you. Doors will be open up for you. Breakthrough is coming your way. Deliverance is coming your way. Favor is coming your way. This morning, as you manifest the power of gratitude, whatever it is that takes from this uncommon breakthrough, I say whatever that takes the uncommon breakthrough for your life is not delivered to your heart. Paul and Silas, sit down. Paul and Silas, they were locked up in prison. They were locked up in prison. Why? Because they were preaching. They were preaching the good news. And they were locked up. Bible said, even when they were locked up, they were praising God. They were praising God. And what happened? When God had their praises, nobody opened the prison. The prison was open on their own accord. Prison was open. <laughs> and they stepped out from the only praise God make Paul and Silas to step up. They were to be killed. That was a terrible situation. And God show up. I don't get to know where you find yourself. God will show up in your life. I said God will show up. In that terrible situation you find yourself, God will show up. What do I want God to do for you this month of July? Because you have learned how to show God gratitude. It will deliver it to your heart. Your gratitude commit God to be committed. I say your gratitude commit God to show up.
Last week I was telling you, I said gratitude, change attitude. Because gratitude is a lifter. When you let to a choco gratitude, what it will do next is to lift you up. And I said God lift you up. And that's forget what you are going through. What I'm telling you tonight, to this morning, is that when you keep doing this, and you stop, even stop body and destroy the devil, and every minute, Father, thank you for keeping me alive. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for healing. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to come near me. Thank you for the bread I eat. And in the short term, you'll be the one to sell it. I said, you will select. You will select. You will select. In the name of Jesus Christ. Gratitude open the door for more open doors. Those like taller salads. When the doors were open, people will imagine. People that were a lot of in prison. And doors of prison open up. Anywhere they go, they will just look at them in different, different ways. Will deliver you this your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare what is that thing that you have been trying to achieve since January, and it seems as if there is no way. The way maker, the way maker, the way maker is coming your ways. The way make us, it will make a way for you. Lift up your hand this morning as you show gratitude to God. I've just been open. For polar salads. I don't care what doors are be closed for you. Those doors will be open. The doors will be open. Sit down. That's why I always love to give God gratitude. A band was a time in life. I wouldn't even buy it because never. I would not go to the market to go and buy a water catches because I know I'm just finish myself. It was a time in life when I robbed myself, not even with what black or with um with the only thing I can buy is black that can sustain the dirty in my body. And today, I am living what I rub it in a day. And it's still a medicine. But I will not forget that somebody wiped away the deadliness for me, which is God. What I like it or not, is a reference that people will keep referring to every day. How can you just roll for God? Roll for God because of you are about to lose a place. You roll for God. And God said, as I was rolling, He said, Look at opposite, it belongs to you. Think about it. Look at opposite. It belongs to, I'm not the opposite now. When I get up, I have not even looked at the opposite. I only told many people in the church, sit down. I missed you. I only told people in the church, look at what God said. They look, they look at me and say, hmm. And I've not ever seen where God said, look here to him. Go on, I got up. It was people around me. I said, hallelujah, God said, I should look at opposite direction. It belongs to me. And they look at me and say, hmm. That was what God said I should look. From here to that place, it belongs to me. And yet, there was no what does advance in the account. What did I do? I only roll. Take a card for acquiring lease. And God said, 
out the door. Ever up to now, not to be back now, to back, back by the jacket, back by the jacket to see you. We say, yes, can I, yes, hey, how are you? I say, fine, I want, I want to take notes, one million. One million notes. Because the back by the jar has no power to ever, see, fill the phone. Back by the jar in London, has no power to see ever in Nigeria, one million pounds. They look at you as a mad person. When you, when, when God is speaking to you, when the, when the Holy Ghost appear, you look like madness. But I did not go through back. I did not go through members of the church. Only holy for God. Only holy for God. May, may God give me this place. How can you explain it? Holy rolling. No complaining. Rolling for God. Don't clap for me. Clap for God. So unless may you have uh, uh, me, uh, me now, I used to be in my mother's womb. For now, mud. Where is the widow? Where is widow? Widow, and yet I cannot stand it. Where did God keep me in my mother's womb? Think about it. Where did God kept you in your mother's womb? And there was no air conditioner. And you are still drinking hot day. The woman is still drinking hot day. It is hot food. Forget it that there is a child in your tummy. Who is preventing the heart from reaching the child? That is the one you must always give, give gratitude. At yourself, look at yourself. You were in your mother's womb for nine months. You were in your mother's womb for how many months? Nothing idea. And you came out and become a baby. I mean, you from baby, you see yourself. Now I'm sitting down. That is still you. For you know, you start crawling. For you know, you stand up. For you know, you start bringing teeth out. For you know, you are eating crayfish. You are eating food. That is the God you must give gratitude. In what giving? What it's not the same when you praise a man, you will praise him. That is why you say me. No pastor taught me. No pastor taught me the power of ruling for God. Nobody, I have not seen anybody do it before I start doing it. Any church, and this was the first church. I started doing it, rolling for God. And I'll, I'll come about that rolling for God. I'll come about it. I saw that say, God, I have laid down for men. I have Jabala for men. What do I do for you that will be special? And Holy Ghost say, roll for me. Roll for me. No matter the problem I'm facing, if I, I don't need to pray, as I roll for God, that problem will vanish. Rolling really for God is giving God gratitude. No matter the clothes I will wear, no matter people these days, when you look at the clothes, 
Forget it that God gave you a life that you are that, that you, 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 you are living. Without life, can you wear clothes? Have you seen a dead man say you have, you have been clothes? But you are alive. Only find a way to give God praises, give Him gratitude. Don't let pastor make you do that. You have to do it yourself. Let it come from your heart. Because even me, as pastoralist, if today I give you this Babylon to me and say, Pamela, take. No, no, I don't tell me thank you. Don't tell me thank you. Be sure my attitude will change immediately. Be sure I will even cost you self. I give you a bag. And you can't even say thank you for the bag. A human being. You are finished. Whereas you look yourself, everything about your life, it what say God. Thank you every second. People do not give God credit to are the same people that we always say, I go to church every day. We bring God self. Does he, they are not tired. They are people like, that's what that they will always be tired. <laughs> God, they are murmuring. I serve you. Me pastor, let no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm paying my dad one must go in this way. I said, Are you mad? If you pay that, does it mean you have to complain? As long as my life, if I'm single, I should thank God that I'm not qualified to get married. Correct? I'm not qualified to get married. And if I'm married, no child. Then thank God I'm not qualified to have a child. You know what I mean? When we don't have a child and the child is behaving, thank God I have you as a child. God, I'm not going to do rest. Let you always look for a way to give God gratitude. And every will be open up for you. Increase will show up. You will multiply all the causes you. In blessing, will bless you. You will never lack any good things. People are so weak. Okay. People will tell me, ah, ah. Everything you are talking about, God do for you, God do for you, God do for you. So I should be shut up. My body be shut up. People, I'm telling you. Eh, why don't go to that church? If you're just talking about God do for me, God do for me. I say eh, that's what God will not do for you. When you say God, you don't give God for granted. When I see today, I see protocol around me, and they are standing. I say, God, it can leave you. It doesn't go on my, it doesn't go to my head. I give God the glory. But I can only be God. And I've been to what I am. And I, I know I came, I was talking about Bishop sure Jaosa. You know what, 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 what do I mean? The way I took this God walk, eh? If you carry me to the I said, carry me to Azul Rock, eh? eh? I will be there for the remote. The remote. As a remote, I will fulfill my, my aim. And my aim is to kill all those politicians. Then I had the battle. Who can rule the country? I may become president for God. I'm already a president. Hallelujah. I can be a Nigerian president. I'm already a president of nation. Part of Ghana, where are you from? Daughter. Yeah. I'm there. What about you? First one. Say hello. You. What about you? British. Ah. Why must I not reduce myself to only Nigeria? I'm ready. You don't know, you don't know how I shocking me. It's painting me that Nigeria is passing through the mess they are going through. 
But I'm telling you, if they appoint me, <laughs> I will be so nice in the first one to two months. In fact, all these old politicians that are sitting on our, my children's money, or your children's money, I will tell them, shoot the ball, poor, they kill the first. I'm talking, I said, Nigeria is free. Nigeria is free. Then we allow the youth to take over. People like Obi youth take over. That is it. People that know how to manage the country. One must put a dummy to head the country. A dummy. And it's a dummy. Look at them. This is the fool. Even the one that was, I, I, I don't know your name. The one that is trying to become president that said is the is his right. Look at it's not the people posting. It's seen as a man that what I'm a photo, I'm not photo. I am here. Open you. Say my time has come. So that's why we must always give God praise. We must give God praise for bringing you out of darkness. For taking you out of darkness into light. UK is a place of light. Even though people that are in UK don't know that they are, they are light, they don't know. They don't know. I don't know. I don't care. I'm telling you the truth that Boris, Boris that they remove now is a man from the spirit, a man of God. He's a good man. Boris is a man of God. What I see, how they will mess up this country after Boris. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a prophet, though. But I can see. I won't tell you about Trump. I'm, 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 I'm a lie. I'm, I'm a lie. No. But after Trump left, what about that? Next. Your word, mess. Boris. That people are even looking as, as the next. Nobody is looking at America now. It's only Boris Johnson. At, but he made a mistake of surrounding himself with wicked people, wrong people. Surrounding himself with the wrong people. People that are used, that they don't believe in God, they are tied up. Red rope, red rope. They don't add it all. They tie it so you can see what they are serving. That they are serving we destroy them if you don't know God. But you know God, you destroy them. What about the parliament? Wherever it just is, was confusion. They said confusion among the British. British, they have said it is the slave man that is qualified, that is better. But we can see how they will jam themselves. People that are serving cow. It is, they believe in cow, cow. A place that serves cow. Eh? We become the end of the parliament. Cow, cow, man. Who? They believe in serpents. That's why they are serpents. You see the way they call that Josie? That man on the planet died for many years. He had behind Joseph. Just like Joseph family. He will hide Joseph. Nice arm, they will hide for the justice. But in the short term, we will regret. We will regret. Can we appreciate Jesus? I'm not a prophet, but I'm a man of God. A man of God. Be careful about pastor. They give my pastor. A pastor was preaching yesterday in the internet. He said, The God of, he said, I was, I will be serving Jesus. Nothing happened to him. No good thing happened until he began to choose this man, AJ. AJ, what do you call that? that that's useless, joyful. Uba AJ. As he began to see Uba AJ as his future father, what Jesus could not do for him, Uba AJ is doing it. I said, Uba AJ. That was the man that was. Telling me, I want to put you on TV for free. I said, I don't like you, you're a Christian. 
because of the way they magnify themselves. Oh, but a devil tell you all that uh, even though you don't want it, if I say you are the one, you'll get it. An alarm. What are people that will go out there to go? What is the number of somebody's car? Number of somebody's car? You know, there's a person there that brought a car. Uh, the number is an e, e, EQ5010. And who is the person? Ah! <laughs> Praise the Lord! People are they are manipulated. It's now magnify itself as a God. That is the man that is begging me that want to put me on TV for free. I said, me? God forbid. Check it out like you see. Drug people, drug. They are two drugs. They be exposed very soon. Just be in the spirit. Do that to your God and know how to give God praises. Magnify him. You can't go wrong with that. You can't pray and miss, but you cannot praise God and miss. You can do anything else, but you cannot say, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, don't see it is the clothes that make you look good. Always know with that life, that clothes is nothing. That the giver of life make you to be good. Don't have children and uh, uh, be proud. You see my children? No! Thank God for those for him that give you those children. Don't see yourself to qualify. You know, I work hard, which work hard. It is God that strengthens you. Can we appreciate Jesus? There are many things you have to see to make you happy. I said I went to a hospital to go and check my eyes. When you know they are telling themselves what I don't I said, what are you telling? It's not the word of God, get out. And they say, okay, this morning they can do the sun, the street listen. And I go there, the man said, I should sun. Sun what? You encourage me, I should do the sun treatment. So for that reason, you should not tell me the case there's any problem. So are you a gabbler? So is it my eyes used to gabble? So I should sun what? That in case anything go wrong, that uh, I'm not, you are, you are, I'm not responsible. That's it, my friend. I, I love this one. His eye is blind. And this one, his eye is blind. They are not concluded. That, that was how they came here. That was how they came here. You blind their eyes. And now they come to you, not here, you know. You want to put me in the school. Give me a drop. The more I use it, the more my heart goes dim. Oh, they are stopping my heart being a brother. I say, Holy Ghost. <laughs> you don't understand. They give me a drop. Every day I drop it. Every night I drop it. My eyes will not get it dim, dim, dim. I say, oh, no, 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 no. You know what I did? I put the eye drop on one side. After a few weeks now, my eyes came back to. It's wrong. It's not wrong. That is the doctor. You know, I'm a pastor, and I'm a father of doctors. I have asked many doctors. I said, Doctor, this thing they are doing is it real? I said, I'll test it. What is wrong with teaching? Doctors, they are guessers. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. Those mercy you use, eh? Before they use you, they are using to test animals. So if you walk in animals, so it might work for you. <laughs> so they are guessing. Grow up. Grow up. I'm telling you, I try it. I said, my eyes will not get too dim. Only the eyes drop. And it's, I, I was believing for healing. But it's not looking, it's not dim, dim, dim. I can't see far again. But now look at how clear it is now. Learn how to glorify God. Magnify Him. You are, you, you are pissing. You are pissing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's why poor I feel one man. <laughs> what are you doing? I want to piss. It's not coming out. You are, yours is coming out. And you're not glorifying God. 
You can see with your two eyes because you have a pain here. A woman came to me here. The woman said to me, I want to go and uh, there's new technology that came out that uh, I should pray for him, but I want to go and uh, use it to do his eyes. I said, my friend, don't go there. Oh. Don't do it. What was it? Huh? Let me use it for many prophets now. <laughs> I don't know why there is it because if this is just opportunity for him. See? See that? She is 80 something years now. Looking young. And she called to me. Papa, I want to do my leg is pain here. I said, Mommy, don't worry, at least at least you can walk. But it's paining you, you can walk a bit. It's good to walk. Eh? But it's paining you. That sitting on chair is short. The person that will be helping you, eh? You want to be doing? Mama, don't wanna too much. Don't wanna too much. Eh? Don't wanna too much. Eh? <laughs> you, I mean, and it is good that your leg is feeding you, but you are walking. Am I correct? Ask her. She convinced me to the extent. He now look as if pastor is not the witch. What they kept saying. Paula Salas, no, I don't know who he is. He said they enter fire and they came out. I said, ah, mama, I beg, go ahead, enter fire. <laughs> I said, mama, I beg, do the money? What's the one? She always gave money. I said, ah, I need money, money, good. Go, 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 go enter. <laughs> oh, did that told him, son, <laughs> son. <laughs> oh, son, that if it is go wrong, it is you. You know, came back to me and said, I told you. <laughs> if I'm 88, 80 years eh, and my leg is half, what you could me a doctor in it? What you could me a doctor? All would I be saying is, holy, holy, holy Ram, the Lord, every day about holy, 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 holy. Because if you are 80 years, what will distract you? Is it, is it man or woman? Is it buffalo girlfriend? Everything is holy, 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 ah, the Lord. Abi, is it money? Holy, 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 ah, the Lord. Eighty years. The redeem worship you now. Um, holy, 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 ah, the Lord. You are eighty years. All you will talk is holy, 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 ah, the Lord. But I will see enemy. Holy, 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 um, what are they saying? name. I, I believe God that when I go to 80 years, every morning, every night, that is the song I will be singing. Whether my children are against me, holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Whether anything is against me, Because you are close to where God is. Shh. When, when you are 80 years, you are close to God, the man. When I'm 70 years, I'm close to God. When I'm 80 years, I am close to God. When you are 90. I'm telling you, 
when I'm in South here, oh, my message, Bishop, I won't preach too much. I'll not be preaching for you for my life. But when I'm in South here, my message will change. My message will completely change. What is the message? See if, see if, see if. See evil, see evil, see evil. Oh, they get to evil. <laughs> Can we appreciate Jesus? Hey! Lift up your hands and say, Thank you, Lord, for knowing you, Lord. Thank you for the confidence you build in me. Thank you for knowing you. I have the confidence that you are my God. Thank you for knowing him. Thank him for knowing him. That you are sure of how you will end up, that you will end up well. Oh, ever declare. Oh, ever declare. Life with your heart. The glory of the risen life. With your heart, I worship him. Who, Who can, can compare, compare to the beauty of the Lord? With your heart. Always go up, don't keep me down. Say, my time has come. 
Jesus said, Father, thank you for the life. Thank you for, for the life that is in me. Thank you for, for the life that is in my finance. Thank you for the life in my marriage. Thank you for the life that's upon my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, that we appreciate Jesus. You can't do better. You can't do better. In Jesus' name. Lift up your heart. I declare, as you lift up the heart to, to heaven, I command a release of the anointing. The anointing of excellence is coming upon you. For all that you have lost, I seek a compensate you this morning. I say God will compensate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every situation that has been oppressing you is coming to an end. As you begin to show God gratitude, those that the devil have been using to frustrate you, they shall prostrate before you. I command release of the anointing upon you to castle every frustration in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you have been experiencing sorrow, the Lord will give you joy. Receive joy. This morning, the Lord will do great things in your life and He will fill your mouth with laughter in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, sir, after today, your ever will be open again as you show God gratitude. God will make you to laugh again in this second half of the year. Your expectation shall come to pass. Your miracle will come to pass. Whatever sorrow follow you here, because you have come to the presence of the Lord, you will laugh again. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your head. Whatever it is that gives you sleepless night. Because you have given God gratitude. It's here by taking away from you. It that matter that has, that has brought sorrow to your life. Because you now know how to give God gratitude. Receive joy. I pray for your life. God will do a new thing in your life. That will change your life to increase. This week, God shall step into that challenge. This week, God shall step into that problem. This week, God will step into that sickness. This week, whatever that brings a balance to your life, as God to an end, shall chase off. <laughs> Yesterday, Time has come because you, after they give God gratitude, your laughter has begun. Your laughter has begun. Your joy has started. Your life begins to increase. Increase on every side. Increase on every side. Increase in your money. Increase in your cattle. Increase in your houses. Increase in your wealth. Receive it. Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. What a mighty God will serve. Can you put a laugh on your mouth? You can laugh better. You can laugh better. You can laugh better. That or you have your pledge? Okay, let's take the third first. Let's go third first. Who said Koya? Jesus, my only friend, you have delivered me. My, my heart, heart is full of joy. joy. I will live our prison. Jesus. 
Jesus, my only friend, you have delivered me. My heart is full of joy. I will live a praising. Hallelujah. Jesus, my only friend. Only friend. You have delivered me. Deliverance. My heart is full of joy. I will live a praising. Hallelujah. Jesus, my only friend. Only friend. You have delivered me. My heart is full of joy. joy, joy. I will live praising. In Jesus' name. Father, your children, they have respond again. By bringing love, by showing love again. By believing, by telling people that they believe in the power of giving. I declare, Lord, accept this start. I let everyone respond to them. Lord, I declare increase on every side. Multiplying on every side. Promotion on every side. Miracles on every side. Healing on every side. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Of your thought. Only you are we serve. Only you are we serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. In Jesus' name, you want to give your your pledge or you have 20 for me today. Your time has come. Only you I will serve. Jesus. Jesus. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Jesus. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Jesus. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Only you I will serve. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Jesus. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Only you I will serve. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Jesus. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Only you I we bow to. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Jesus. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Only you I will serve. Lord, I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Jesus. Only you I will serve. I have no other God. Only you I will serve. Only you I will serve. Only you I will serve. Lord, I have no other God. In Jesus' name, bring it, bring it. Holy Spirit, come early. Bless you, bless you. Your time has come, your time has come. Your time has come, bless you. Father, it's a commitment they have committed again this morning. That it is only you they will serve. That they will not serve money. That they will not serve men. That they will not serve their wife and their husband. That they will serve you. That as they serve you, I declare increase upon you. I declare fruitfulness upon you. 
that ever be opened up for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You have your pledge, come with your pledge, you have your pledge, come with your pledge. Your time has come. Yes, Father, if you as they go this morning, let your presence go before them. Let they encounter you this week. Let they encounter a Christ. Let they encounter Jesus this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, say Jesus over to you. I will see you there. Oh, we have, we have, sorry. We have, uh, sit down, sit down. I forgot. We have an um, announcement. Thank you, Jesus. Shout, Jesus. Amen. Announcement for the week. I'm very excited this morning to announce that following popular demand by members of the church, I can now announce that VPA Church will be embarking on a journey to the promised land this year, journey to Israel. Shout Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. Shout Jesus! Many of you have been asking me, when are we going? Have you spoken to daddy? Now I can announce that, yes, we are going this year. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So the whole church is encouraged to register for this journey. Ensure the whole church. Try and save up for it. The date will be announced in due course. But I think it will be around November. So you have time to plan and, uh, and uh, save, up, save up for this journey. Amen. Come and walk in the same places that Jesus walked during his earthly ministry. Ministry. Indeed, you cannot afford to miss this opportunity. In Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God we have somebody from Israel that's among us here. She will make sure she go with us and show us every place. There are places you have not even been away from. There are places you have not even known. This woman says she, she is from there. She will tell us about Israel. And will take us there. She's in our midst. Let's appreciate Jesus. But... It's very important for you to register now. The register will make us to be sure that you are, we are ready. It's no commitment, no registration. We commit all that you are ready. So start writing your name now. Your time has come. So to register, you can see myself. You can leave your name back at the information desk or at the reception. Amen? So put your names down as soon as possible. Workers meeting continues next Sunday uh, at 10, sorry, 9.45 a.m. Workers meeting. It was encouraging this morning, but it looks like the same faces are what we see every Sunday. If you have not been participating and you are a worker in VPA church, please join us next Sunday at 10, sorry, 9.45, 9.45 a.m. If people don't, if you know the workers here, I do not participate, then you take them out of, out of worker. They put all of the workers, workers, it's a mandate. Workers must be there. Workers must be there to pray for the church. First foot we open service. So if there's no, if they don't come as workers, to ban them as workers. Simple. You have heard from the horse's mouth. So please, from next Sunday, it is compulsory for all workers in VPA church, except you say you don't want to be a worker anymore. Hallelujah. Shout Jesus. Next week in brief, sorry, evangelism. Evangelism is back next Saturday, 10 a.m. at Barking Station. Evangelism. The whole church is invited to join. Hallelujah. Next week in brief, counseling tomorrow morning, at 10, begin, um, beginning from 10 a.m. with uh, our pastor, Pastor Alex Omokudu, one-to-one, a unique opportunity for you to come and see the man of God. Whatever issue you are going through, Instead of calling fake pastors, come and speak to him. He's here. You don't need any appointment, and he will see you. Even people who are not members of the church that are going through situations, you can bring them. Encourage them to come and see the man of God. Let him speak into their lives. Amen? Don't be selfish. Enough is enough. Is back uh, on Tuesday morning, sometimes 6 a.m. You are encouraged to come. Come and pray. Amen? Deliverance on Monday it starts again uh, Monday night. At 8 p.m., deliverance service is back on Monday. 
Bible studies continues on Wednesday, as always, at 8 p.m. On Wednesday, is Bible study. Come and study uh, the Word of God. Hallelujah. That's the announcement for the, uh, for the day. And uh, one, one more time, your time has come in Jesus' mighty name. Shout Jesus. Surely, goodness, rise up. Let's go. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall the eyes of the Lord forever. Um, give the prayer ad. I don't know what you want God to do for you this week. Declare it to that Lord this week. I want to encounter you. I want to encounter miracle. God of miracle show for me this week. I don't know which area you want the miracle. Yes, say God take over this area for me. And you come back and testify on Sunday. In Jesus name. Count your blessing, name the one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you all the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you all the Lord has done. It's not by mind, it's not by mind, it's not by power, it's not by power, by my spirit says the Lord. It's not by mind, it's not by mind, it's not by power, it's not by power, by my spirit says the Lord. This mountain must be removed. This mountain must be removed.